In this video, we're going to talk about stability and also how it connects in with centre of gravity, which we learned about last week. So just a reminder that centre of gravity is the point where all weight appears to act. And today we're working on page four and five of our moments booklets. So I'll just make this a wee bit bigger. And before you start, I would like you to look at this video here. YouTube video on YouTube, obviously, and it's called Year 10 Stability of an Object. Um, but if you double click, if you control and click on this link, it will take you to it. Stability um, has to do with the position of the centre of gravity. And a stable object is one that will not stopple, will not topple easily. And an unstable object is one that will topple easily. And if we look at our notes here, an object will not topple if the vertical line drawn from the center of gravity passes through the base. And sometimes that's expressed as the line of action of the center of gravity passes through the base. And an object will topple if the same vertical line drawn from the centre of gravity does not pass through the base. And all of that can be seen in the YouTube video called Year 10 Stability of an Object. And you can search for it under those, those words. So let's have a little example of some objects. Now, these are rectangles, which are uniform objects. So their center of gravity is basically going to be the cent their geometric center. So I'm just going to find the center of gravity of all three objects. Obviously, when you do this, you'll be using a ruler. So the center of gravity, same place, just at a different angle. And over here, diagonal, corner to corner, and the centre of gravity is the point where they cross. Now, if I draw a vertical line from the centre of gravity, because remember, weight always acts vertically down, and that's the weight. If that line, the vertical line drawn from the centre of gravity, passes through the base, and the base is basically where we wanted to land, then that object is stable. So it is stable. So we can cross out the unstable. And the same thing over here. I'm going to draw a vertical line from the center of gravity. And here's the base. So you can see that in this case, the center of the line vertical line drawn from the center of gravity does not pass through the base. So therefore, this object is in fact unstable. And then in the third example, if I draw a vertical line from the center of gravity, this time it's not actually tipped as far as before. That vertical line does pass through the base, therefore that object is in fact stable. So, just to repeat myself, if the vertical line drawn from the centre of gravity passes through the base, then the object is stable and will not topple. If the vertical line that drawn from the centre of gravity does not pass through the base, then the object is unstable and will topple. Now, um, some of you had the opportunity in class to carry out the stability challenge, where you basically take some cocktail sticks and marshmallows and try and make a structure that won't fall over whenever you shake the table. And what you will find is that if you have a stable object, then it will have a low center of gravity. and also a wide base. So one way you can actually try this out is if you and somebody else in your household, obviously they have to be in your household at the minute, 
um, come shoulder to shoulder and try and push each other over, you'll actually find that the person who has um, the widest base, in other words, they've put their legs the furthest apart and they've lowered their centre of gravity by bending their knees, then they will actually manage to topple the other person out. So if you want to have a wee go with that one, uh, and if you injure anybody, um, this is a disclaimer, that's not my fault. So please be careful. Okay, so let's do a wee practice exam question. This is actually a GCSE question. So um, you can see this stuff, it doesn't actually get any more difficult at GCSE. And it says, the picture shows a car on a steep slope. The centre of gravity is marked, and sometimes centre of gravity is also called the centre of mass. Do you think it will topple? Explain your answer. So if we draw a vertical line from the centre of gravity, then what you'll find is that it does pass through the base. So the first thing we need to do, remember three marks, so I need to write down three distinct relevant points. And the first thing I'm going to write down is that the car will not topple. Then I will, so I've answered the question, then I will explain my answer with two distinct points. So I will say that the vertical line drawn from the centre of gravity, so basically I have shown a connection to weight and centre of gravity. So that one mark for that, one mark for that. And then the third mark is we're saying that it passes through the base. Okay, and that type of question comes up a lot and you may see it in a quiz um, for your assignment. Now, this question here I'd like you to think about. It says, would you rather, using your knowledge of centre of gravity and stability, so what we've learnt today, um, would you rather be pushed a mile in a wheelbarrow and have a little look at the picture or be pushed a mile on an office chair? And I'd like you to think about that, fill in an answer, and then I will give you my answer next week. Okay, and here's a little reminder that I'd like you to do this center of gravity and stability quiz for next week. Thank you.